Hi, let's have a look at the process of how you can access uh, XAMPP uh, servers uh, through FileZilla, how you can connect things. Basically, we need to uh, create a user account, and um, that's the primary purpose of this. So, uh, we would be coming up on this interface and hit the admin button. If you have set up a password, you can hit the OK button entering the password, and if you have not set any password, you need to keep this area blank. So in our case, I have a password set up, so I'll just hit the OK button. In case if you want to change the password, you can do it from this screen. You can uh, check it out and uh, put in the new password and hit OK. So that's the admin password for um, this computer of uh, FTP. Now, I'm just coming out of it to uh, get back to the FTP account creation. Uh, we need to click on Edit and then we need to go to Users and on the general tab as you can see I have one user account so I'll just clear it up and I'll go back to general account once again now I'm hitting the add button I created a user account named developer1 I set a password for him and it would ask me for setting up a directory once I hit the OK button so I will do that basically directory is the path where you want to send users to so you can uh, if you want to access XAMPP over localhost um, maybe you will like to connect it to HD, um, HD docs or if there are more users connecting uh, to this computer through network you can create multiple user accounts for them uh, and create individual directories where they would be taken to and uh, in our case uh, let's assume that I have a project one and um, maybe a developer one and I would like to associate this user to that directory so I'll just hit the add button go to that path HT docs and as you can see I have a developers name directory already created and I would just select developer one and hit OK so now the thing here is that this user would be taken to htdocs slash developers and then developer one so anyone who is accessing localhost slash developer and developer one would be able to take uh, would be able to access that path so in the same manner you can set up your hierarchy and work on it I would set the permissions here and hit OK button that's the basic thing that I need to do. And here we are. Once you put in this uh, user account and password, the host could be your IP address or the username or the password that you have created and it would be able to get you uh, the listing so this is the basic process you can create more users you would be able to associate more users to the directory any way you like and that's all you need to do